What is going on, folks? I'm Nick with Rudder Quad Squad, and today I have something else tiny on the bench. Now, I swore I was done with micro quads, but no, they're out to get me. So what we have today are the iPower iX1104 TAC 7500 KV motors. Oh, these videos are fun because my camera never focuses on something that small. Come on. There we go. Let's see if I can get a little better lighting. There we go. That's the good stuff. So fit and finish is pretty typical. Um, they feel pretty robust. Tiny little bearings. I always end up messing up the bearings. And these things rattle for me. But anyway, I digress. They are 1099. Now it doesn't tell me if that's for a pair or one. These came in a pair, but it doesn't really clarify. No, oh, yeah, it does. It says one motor, one prop nut. I didn't get prop nut. Huh. I feel like you might want to update your page a little bit. Anyway, 7500 KV. Uh, they weigh in at 6 grams. Their website says 5.5, but mine said somewhere between 6 and 7. And they're all rated for 2 to 3S. So, these 7500 KV 2S might be pushing it. I don't think I have a 3S battery that's small enough for these. But, hell, I might give it a shot just for fun. And supposedly, they pull 5.5 amps of current on 3-inch props. Now, these are T-style motors, so you're going to have to use T-style props. So... You know, got to find some. Personally, I have something that I'm long overdue in building that these will go great on. So, I'm going to get them hooked up and installed, see how they perform, and I'll get back to you guys with video. Hooey, okay. These little motors ended up getting put on my Armaton bumper. It's a fairly heavy indoor design quad, made for running into things and bouncing off, obviously. Uses 2-inch props. This is a Pico BLX board. A, I don't remember the brand, 10 amp 4 in 1 ESC board. And as you can see, I ran the wires real nice and clean. And I don't remember the brand of these props, but they were 3 inch and I had to cut them down to, to 2. Not a big deal. So heavy quad, but you know, whatever. And then Spectrum Satellite, obviously. I ran it with these Electron Pro 3S 450 milliamp 440C batteries. And I gotta admit, these things are freaking screamers. Um, Plenty of punch, plenty of power. This is fairly heavy. Uh, I'll throw it on the scale real quick. Looks like 85 grams without the battery. So it's a fairly heavy quad, and yet these little motors just pushed it like it was nothing. Um, 3S, <laughs> I had the JST and the battery wires getting hot before the motors did, so they're definitely peppy. Um, they're loud. I don't know if that's just the props or the fact that it's 7,000 kV, but these things are freaking loud. Um, not a bad thing. I don't even think that's a hit on the motors, really. That might just be inherent with the frame shape, small props, 3S, etc. But these are pretty nice little motors. Go check them out on iFlight's website. I'll link it down below. Indoor flyer might be a bit much, maybe on 2S, but on an outdoor fast ripping quad, 3-inch on these little T-style props, might be pretty fun. So go check them out. Uh, check me out, uh, rotorbuilds.com. I'll put my link down below, facebook.com, Woody's Builds, Rotor Quad Squad on on Facebook, on YouTube, and Instagram, and check them out.